Because I feel like it's like a major stun lock. Guys, I'm actually almost scared of watching this, to be honest. I'll give it a shot. Chat, chat guys, guys, you guys are just making just get promoted, to be honest. I'm very, just don't be a dumbass. The Chris Tyson situation could become a complete disaster for Mr. Beast brand. However, it may also provide some unique benefits. So let's begin by going over the drama before explaining exactly how this will impact the Mr. Beast channel. In mid-2022, fans began to notice that Chris Tyson was changing. In the early days, he represented the quintessential Southern gun and truck loving dude. Yet beginning in March 2022, Chris began to display increasingly feminine traits, making Tweets such as, I finally got my nails done at a nail tech. Not Additionally, um, Chris would highlight that his facial so appearance had changed significantly out. since the start of the pandemic, which accompanied another post reading, Okay, so in four different customs, I had to prove I was myself because I quote, look nothing like my passport pic, so much that I'm considering updating my passport. Do you see any resemblance? Prompting replies such as, wow. You went from man to boy. Okay, Who cares yeah. what gender someone wants to be or is? You should worry more about your McDonald's shift tonight. You're almost late. Flip my burger and don't forget the mustard. Jeez, yo, 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 bar for bar. That's my whole flow. What the fuck is this? Yo, I'm gonna tax your donut, dude. I'm gonna tax. I'm gonna start taxing if you can use my shit like that. That is fucking weird. Anyway, moving on. What is on this guy, man? It's literally my line. Okay. What? Well, oh yeah. What? Well, guys, guys. Always, always, always devil's advocate over here, okay? In, in its context here, I just see like, um, passports and shit like that, uh, uh, and, and, and customs, well, they have to do their job, and, uh, they're pretty, they're pretty thorough at, at, in, in customs. When I bleached my hair, I looked kind of a crackhead a little bit, maybe I still do a little bit. Chat, I would get flagged decently often. Out of, I think, six trips, I got flagged twice, which is pretty crazy. So what they do is that um, whenever you're in line with your passport, they, they will, like, randomly check you, whatever the fuck, right? So they'll, like, they'll go up to you if you look nervous or something, or anything they do. And it, they, they give you, a, like, a, like, a small, like, envelope, and they put your passport in it, and they put a code on it, like a letter or something like that. And then, then they know when you get to the customs, right? They know what to do, right? And you get to look like a crackhead. Well, they, they, they double checked me, my whole thing. It was pretty crazy. But just because I look, I, look, I look crazy. Just because they're very, like, thorough. So it is what it is. I mean, you know, you can't. I mean, I don't think you can blame the customers for that. Passport. Do you see any resemblance? Prompting replies such as, you went from man to boy. Chris Random responded by stating, right. nah, to no be honest, I just really started taking my mental health seriously and eating better. Yet his Twitter photos kept insinuating that Chris was becoming more feminine, with this same kind of look showing up in his Mr. Beast appearances. For example, on the 6th of January 2023, Beast Reacts uploaded a video titled, I strapped a GoPro to a fish, in which Chris dressed in a way that prompted comments such as, Chris has been adopting more and more traits that remind me of my grandmother. Okay, so some people just gonna ignore Chris's nails. Chris had to have lost a bet. The look is getting wild. The response to the video then prompted countless viral TikToks, such as this one with 700,000 likes, stating, how did Chris go from this to this? While others even made the claim that Carl had turned him gay. Now, this was pretty ridiculous what? as Carl isn't even that feminine and Chris had come out as bisexual years before he and Carl had- Okay, 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 well, okay, listen, listen, if people are gonna try to chat, people are gonna try to push some arguments, okay, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, okay, this, this is objectively true, okay, hey, Carl what, was ahead of the curve on that one, okay, motherfucker, motherfucker, he, he was painting his nails and wearing goofy ass shit, okay, from the get go, okay, that, don't say it, I'm wrong, okay, and, and, I don't think people paid much of an eye to it, dude. It just it is what it is. I know. I, I don't. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal at all. What? As Carl is an that feminine, and Chris had come out as bisexual years before he and Carl had even met. The true catalyst for Chris Tyson's feminization instead seemed to have come from his marriage. In January 2022, huh? Chris would post a photo with his wife to his Instagram, yet after this, the family photo stopped altogether. Fans also noticed that he'd removed his wedding ring, with the ring's absence correlating perfectly with the very first post in which he'd painted his nails. Chris confirmed the split in a post from March 
March 2023 reading, for a little over a year now, me and Katie have been separated, with this also confirming that Chris's transformation began as soon as his marriage came to an end. Chris went from lighting campfires and raising a family with his beautiful wife, to now trying to be a wife with his man buns and long Dude, nails. Whoa. As the criticism continued to pile, Chris announced Bro, that he'd be- classic of this guy, uh, uh, Sunny Dude, picking like the most deranged fucking comments and just fucking highlighting them dead taking a break from social media. And while there was a possibility that Chris would make efforts to return to his former self, he'd rather do the opposite and double down on his feminine image, showing up to the Kids' Choice Awards looking like this, before making the announcement that he'd been doing HRT for approximately two months, which right. according to a quick Google search is the medical process for changing genders. Chris would expand on this by stating, informed consent HRT saved my and many others' lives. The hurdles GNC people have to jump through to get life-saving gender affirming healthcare in a first world country is wild to me. Just let people make informed decisions about their own bodies, which received a positive response from both Carl and Mr. Beast, who wrote, got you, I did one more heart than Carl because I'm a better friend. While his co-workers expressed positivity, Dude, others weren't so- I personally don't know what that means. Uh, you guys, I'm, I'm not, I'm decently educated about some of this stuff, but not a lot of it. I mean, don't, don't blame me. Uh, um, uh, um, It's it's saving a life, as in what? As in what is the what is the, the alternative that isn't? Uh, guys, I, I'm on stream trying to educate myself by asking questions that are very normal, man. Um. Oh, okay, in that sense, then. Okay. I get it, in that sense. It Having gender-affirming healthcare in a first world country is wild to me. Yeah, I Just get let it. people make informed decisions a, about their own- In the mental health uh, uh, realm, not not in the in, 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 in physical realm of consequences in that regard. Bodies, which received a positive response from both Carl and Mr. Beast, who wrote, got you, I did one more heart than Carl because I'm a better friend. While his co-workers expressed positivity, others weren't so welcoming. There goes a father figure the kid won't ever be able to look up to. Hard times create strong men, strong men create good times, good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times. Weak man times. Chris Bro, responded to this comment by stating, this bro, is just more bro dog whistling that somehow trans and GNC folks aren't safe around kids. What is Tucker begs cooking? for me to come back when I leave for like two days to film. He is so loved and happy. Kids aren't born with hate, it's taught by people like you, and my child will only know love. I know I'm going to be a great parent, and so is every other person who puts the love of their child before everything. I made this decision because I wanted to show up as my best and happiest self for him. Yo, I'm making weird ass conclusions about people raising their child is, guys, guys, it doesn't matter chat who the fuck they are, okay? Whether it's single mom, single dad, single gay dad, single uh, a, a, a lesbian mom, I don't know who the, what the fuck. Stop making these weird ass fucking conclusions and, and, and sort of narratives around people and them uh, raising their child, okay? Just fuck off with that. It's so, it's so bad, dude, okay? Just stop it, dude. Okay, G great parents, okay? Great parents are great parents regardless. Okay, and and they they will make a a, a well developed child that that will be successful if they're good parents. They are very loving, uh, 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 heterosexual men and women that have fucked up children everywhere. Nobody blinks an eye yet. Holy fuck! Oh my! It, I don't know. I understand why people make such weird conclusions about parenting. I don't get it. In a way, this was for Tucker. Chris's response received- you're not, you're not a savior. You're not like saving the guy's, the guy's kid. But Yo, dude, we cannot let him raise the shit because it's gonna be-, be go Yo, what? Shut up. Some positivity such as, I'm convinced you're an amazing father. Tucker is lucky to have you and also lucky to have all of those who surround and support you in his life. As well as, I adore that, I'm glad you made that decision. It's so much easier to be a parental figure when you're not struggling with dysphoria, yet he'd also receive an equal amount of backlash. You ripped apart your family and took a father figure away from your son just so you could paint your nails and act zesty. Pathetic. He will get what torn apart at school, won't want to have friends around his house. A life full of difference and being alone. Must have missed the point. Bruh? 
What the fuck? Have friends around his house. A life full of difference and being alone. Must have missed the point in that tweet. How's this for him when you're depriving him of a father figure? Although Chris wasn't altered by these comments, as he'd once again reiterate his certainty in a new post reading. He has the attitude, bro. Bro, that's a mirror back on fucking society. Not a mirror back on them. When will you realize, dude, that them, that them saying, oh, dude, people are... Uh, Everybody's fucked up and, and we double down and I'm being fucked up. I'm going to fucked up. Bro, that, that's a mirror back to you, brother. That's that's back to you, not back to these people. Like, wh why you're just offloading blame like a dumb fuck? It's never too late to start being yourself, which received praise from Mr. Beast as well as Nolan and Carl. However, these comments also added extra fuel to the fire. In a few- This is it. This is it. Not true. The study is about two parents, not about- the sex of each parent. It's a wrong argument. Well, I think, I think the whole thing is, I think the whole thing is dog shit. Uh, we have extremely successful, well-fledged uh, 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 kids who had a single straight mom, a single straight dad. Who, who, dude, you're just being dumb. Uh, what are you on about? And it's not even anecdotal evidence. It's, there's evidence across the board. Like, what the fuck? Few years look back at this thread and remember they were never your friends. Only yes men cowards. Hope you come out of this safe. Mr. Beast responded to this with- Oh, if you, if you but they were never your friends. Yes. The simple opinion irrelevant ratio to which the original commenter would state, I have 30 followers, so go ahead and ratio me. I'll still rest easy knowing that I'm not a coward who idly sits by watching my friend ruin his own life. In some ways, it was nice to see the boys standing up for Chris on Twitter. However, the situation has already begun to change the dynamic. Guys, I wish people understood, man. Guys, guys, if so if somebody feel if somebody has a, a, a image problems, okay, and dysphoria, whatever, and they're feeling fucking suicidal, okay, them ruining their life in their own perspective and life views, they're saving their own life. Like that's just kind of how it is. And y your your take about this is fucking irrelevant, dude. When it's like you you go at somebody, dude. And, and you're like, oh, dude, you're doing, you're doing this to cope. What, why don't you just fucking go through the hardship and just fucking die instead? What is this mentality? It's just really, how does it a PR take it? It's, it's just, bro, like, it, your perspective like, is fucking irrelevant when it comes down to somebody's own view of themselves, right? And their own perspective, it's irrelevant. And you're feeling you have to go out and say it like this, right? Because you, you think this is ruining his life? It's nobody, nobody asked about that shit, man who idly sits by watching my friend ruin his own life. In some ways, it was nice to see the boys standing up for Chris on Twitter. However, the situation it. has already begun to change the dynamic within the videos. For example, in a recent live stream titled Opening a Thousand Mystery Art Box. What do you mean it needs to be said? What would you rather have? Somebody just dying and just be dead? Because they, they, get, they, have, they, they have mental problems and all this shit and they just kill themselves and just say, well guys, at least he was right and he was on our side. He died, but I mean, guys, he was on the right team, our team, Paul Champ. But what is this shit? Come on, man. Don't be like that, dude. Chris would once again dress in quite a feminine way. And while everybody participated- He said he never said he was suicidal. Bro, he said at the beginning, life-saving stuff. Dysphoria, life-saving therapy. Yeah, I I'm, I'm guessing that, that the, the, men the mental fucking uh, uh, strain was pretty heavy. From from uh, feeling start ways and that that that's to be considered. Like what are we going about? As usual, the energy and vibe didn't feel nearly as smooth as it normally does. It felt as though there was an unaddressed elephant in the room, and therefore everybody was in their head, as opposed to being in the present moment enjoying each other's company. Maybe everybody was simply too busy opening packages, but Chris did make these bizarre jokes about Jimmy being female, making him incredibly uncomfortable. Oh my God, Jimmy! Look, they drew you, Jimmy. They drew you so well. It looks just like you. Oh, yes. Oh my god, it's Whoa. Jimmy. How did fan art? This so is hard. what we were looking for. <laughs> be brave, be honest, be kind, Mr. Beast. That is my tagline. Becoming even weirder when each member started to pay each other compliments. Yo. Yo. Hey, nice shirt. Thanks, dude. Nice shirt. Chat. Hey, nice guys, shirt. Thanks. I right, fuck it. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I don't give a fuck if you guys say I'm blazing, dude. Okay, listen. These guys, most of these guys don't stream very often, okay? And on stream, it, dude, it's just different, okay? They've had a bunch of streams with a million awkward moments. And and the, the moment that is awkward moments with this person fucking transitioning, oh my God, it's gotta be because they transition. Oh my God. Bro, the moments are because of him and what he did. What is all this guy? What, uh, what, what did he do today? 
Look at that. What are these guns? What are these? Dude, nice shirt. Thanks. Nice shirt. Nice shoes. For the most part, the live stream was devoid of awkward moments. However, it would act as fodder for another 100 million views worth of drama and criticism. Chris likely believes that people will slowly adapt to his new appearance over time, but is this really going to happen? Well, maybe. It's difficult to say as the situation is fairly unique, especially when considering Chris's reputation and influence. However, if Chris continues to transition, would it be unreasonable to say that he could jeopardize some of the personality traits which made him a successful member in the first place. Perhaps the opposite will happen and he'll instead pick up new personality traits that better resonate with the current Mr. Beast audience. This was put forward in many comments supportive of Chris, who implied that there'll be millions of queer kids who look up to him, although this doesn't necessarily mean that it'll add any value to the videos. Mr. Beast has likely cultivated a massive LGBT yo, audience, yo, of whom are already- Yo, I'm gonna give you a snack. This, this yo, listen, yes, I don't wanna be a cancel Andy, okay? But this fucking take from Sonny is absolutely unhinged. That shit is balls the fucking balls deep piped up. I don't know what the fuck I just listened to, man. Like it. Bro, bro. I there are a mil what explain? There is a million things that happen in people's private lives that change the nature of their content behavior and personality so therefore the content that they make right and that's just being that's just being a human that's what that is it's called human experience and sometimes it shapes and goes through ways but saying oh guys him being himself and doing the thing that he needs to do well that will affect the views and people are watching the videos and it'll 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 ruin the videos his personality is gonna be different lol it's just like what the fuck bro what the fuck is this shit already watching anyway and if we've Bro, 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 you say, you say it did, you say it did, when there's a hundred other things that affected the video quality and the video, the, the video thing and the personality, right? Nobody points at any of the other things that happened, except for that one. Because, because why? Because people won't be a bunch of bitches. It's that, it is that, what I mean, like what? Like human experience. What is wrong with you? Like, holy shit learn anything from Hollywood in recent years, it's that adding over the top LGBT I'm, 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 characters I'm, I'm so for the sake of relatability rarely works as intended and is often nothing more than a distraction from the premise of the movie or video. On top of this, it can be uncomfortable and unrelatable for the silent majority. Yo, the okay, what makes that all excellent, dude? Dude, I have had experience with it in my, in my last five years, okay? That changed me drastically forever. It's fucked me over, right? And you know what? You know what? So be it. That's where things are going, and I don't give a fuck. It's just that's just that's just, that's just how, how life goes. People say, "Yo, X, you see, X, you see, yo, dude, you, you um, uh, um, um, clearly this friend is gonna hang out with you, and then and then it it changed you. And it's weird, and now you're not as fun, and you're gonna get less views because of that. And and because because it's like, dude, bro." And I'm trying to listen to that shit right now, bro. I don't give a fuck. What's wrong with you? Although, as we have seen, a situation like Chris's does have the potential to create an otherworldly amount of discussion, which could be seen as a benefit for the Mr. Beast brand. Drama is good for growth, 100%. That would be an easy way to up my business so if a I got star it, The problem is this type of situation is probably the last thing that Mr. Beast wants to attract as he's forced to agree with Chris's position as he has no way of manipulating- What is his position? Oh my God! I'm gonna lose my mind. What is the position to be agreed or disagreed with? What? I'm not even triggered, bro. Bro, that's like if one, if, one, if one of your boys you make videos with comes out of woman and says, "Yo, dude, guys, guys, I, I never told you guys, but listen, I, girls, uh, nah, I, I'm actually gay, right?" And that, and you're like, "Ooh, man, I know if I know if I can go on camera and uh, uh, agree with your position." Cause like you're gay and I, I don't think I agree with that position. What? How is that a position? What the fuck? What? What the fuck the is this? Situation without being painted as the bad guy, it's a lose lose situation for Mr. Beast. I think Jimmy is in an inescapable situation. If he kicks out Chris, cancelled. If he don't, his channel will die for real. An inescapable situation is a pretty good way of describing the drama, which is also why it deserves the harsh label of being a nightmare. Jimmy has no option but to publicly express. Jimmy's trying to say something, but he actually wants to cry. Oh man, bro, thank you, man. Thank you. Not only is this comment unhinged. It's fucking stupid as shit. 
Thank you, Sonny, for choosing this comment. Jimmy is trying to stay strong, but he wants to cry. Bro, bro is like a fucking psychoanalyst Andy. This guy sees through the pixels like nobody else. Brother, brother, brother. This guy will fix your life because he fucking watched a clip of you, man. Thank you, bro. What is this shit? I don't know acceptance of Chris's transition, a silence or even worse disapproval would come with obvious severe repercussions. However, in accepting- Jimmy has fired people over the years like crazy and has completely ignored all the backlash and the comments. If he wanted to get rid of the problem because of the position, he would just fire him and never make videos with him again. And just literally ignore the comments and keep going. And what would people do? Yo, dude. Yo, dude, we're canceling because you're not making videos with Chris anymore. What do you mean he, he can't? Of course he can. He absolutely can. Bro, he absolutely can. What is audio? The fuck? It wouldn't get canceled. You're an idiot. That's Chris's random. transition. Jimmy implies that this will be the new normal within the content, thus annoying a different group of people, many of whom will never express their true feelings and may rather simply click on fewer Mr. Beast videos. If this is the case, Jimmy has no option but to accept this fate as removed. There'd be no backlash if, uh, if he fired Chris. Are you that stupid? Comments about people. Bro, if, if Chris's personality. And, and his and his antics or what he does on stream doesn't garnish the same amount of view and success that he projects. And that becomes a business problem. He will make a business decision. And that has nothing to do with his position or him or, or whatever the fuck do you guys want to say about it, okay? That would be a business decision that's isolated based on the results. And that's it. That is, that is the end of it. That's it. Boom, done. And whether people cried about it or not, they would be wrong. You are giving too much power to cancel culture. When we understand it, that you have no power when you are upset and you are wrong. If you were to go against a business decision and you are wrong, it doesn't matter how upset you are, you are wrong. You are objectively wrong. So therefore, therefore it's irrelevant. You have, no, you have no power. You're useless. Moving Chris from the videos in any kind of way could create an even more severe media firestorm. The only clean solution, should things go south, might be for Chris to resign himself, and even then rumors and bad press will be unavoidable. Whether it be arrogance or ignorance, Chris seems oblivious to how this whole thing might impact Jimmy, forgetting that he achieved his current level of success by avoiding this exact type of drama. The Chris Tyson situation. Bro, ima imagine, bro, imagine somebody just being themselves, right? And going through life the way they want to, and then people calling it this shit drama. I, I, I can't, bro. I can't.